United appears to follow this protocol and it's uh, appeared to take all the steps that are required by federal law to offer people compensation to seek voluntary uh, uh, denied boardings. Uh, that didn't work, so they went to the involuntary method and uh, offered uh, the amount that was expected by federal law. It just in this case, there weren't any volunteers, and the random pastor they chose really objected, and that's uh, that's reflecting badly on on the whole situation. The, the pastor did not have the right to stay on the airplane. Uh, really, uh, airlines have the right to bump people with compensation. Uh, the captain's uh, word goes, you have to respond to that. And uh, this passenger seemed to feel that, that somehow he had an uh, un, uh, uncompromised right to have that seat. And of course we know that that's not the case. When you buy a ticket, you're subject to the rules of carriage by that airline, but protected by federal law. If you're not uh, given a seat on the flight, which you have a reservation, there's a whole series of compensations that you're entitled to. Uh, that was offered in this case. But the airlines do have the right to bump you if they're willing to pay what the federal government mandates is the requirement. United was in an impossible spot. It either takes blame for something that uh, to, to a large extent was out of its control when airport security took over, or it could have thrown airport security under the bus and, and said, you know, the fault lies with them. That would have looked bad too. I think they struck a, a compromise that uh, showed they sincerely regret the pain and suffering that uh, the, both the passenger and the, the fellow uh, uh, travelers felt during that incident. But uh, boy, it's not... Uh, it's not, maybe not enough to quell what the public's uh, demanding right now. I think we all look at this and we say, you know, this is what happens with flying today, that passengers often have a righteous feeling when something goes wrong and if they scream loud enough, uh, airlines will bend to accommodate their needs. Of course, uh, onboard airplane, we're seeing uh, unruly behavior more often. And that just sort of pumps up the tension on the airplanes. And uh, I think we're going to see more of that, not less, with, with most planes going out full. Hello, Joe here. You know, I think United handled it at, at quite well. What I think the lesson, though, is that in this world of uh, Facebook and media and viral videos, the rules are going to have to change in how airlines uh, deal with these situations. They uh, perhaps are uh, going to be pressured to take responsibility for things that really were out of their control because the public seems to be demanding that sort of uh, apology. Uh, in this case, when, when things go this viral, airlines have to manage it, even if it means sort of uh, swallowing their pride a little bit and then taking heat for something that wasn't their doing.